guys, Brian Van from Sport Bike Track Gear, SportBikeTrackGear.com. Today we're going to do a video review on the Shoei DFXW off-road helmet. Uh, one of the, the coolest features this helmet has to offer is its emergency release cheek pad system. They put that in place so you can get the helmet off of a potentially injured rider without really disturbing their neck. And I have the helmet on now. You simply reach inside the chin bar and there are emergency release tabs. You just pull forward and then you pull down on it. Out comes the cheek pad with ease. And now the opening is huge and when you pull it off your head, it comes right off with no resistance. That is for sure a fantastic feature. May as well go ahead and show you how to disassemble the rest of the liner now that we're halfway home. I've already got the cheek pads released on both sides by using the quick release cheek pad system. Let's just go ahead and finish pulling those out. Simple to do. And this will give us an opportunity too to have a quick look at this cheek pad system. Arise done something like this on their uh, their Corsair V full face helmet, okay? This is the first one that, that we've really seen in the dirt and I gotta be honest with you, I love the way these guys did this, okay? This would be the, the unreleased position and to release these cheek pads you simply pull forward on this and what it does is it is it pulls and forces this red pull tab in between the helmet EPS and the cheek pad backing and it pushes the clips right out and then as you pull down the cheek pad pulls right out of the helmet and as you can see I was able to get this thing off of my head when the cheek pads were released with zero effort, hardly any contact at all. Um, here, here, and here. We have three snaps total to uh, reinstall the cheek pad. Simply push the emergency tab back, like so. That's it. Piece of cake. You know, of course, this has their, you know, their wicking fabric. Very comfortable. In size medium on the scale, this weighed 3.4 pounds. I think it's very reasonable. It's a very stunning helmet. Nick, if you want to give them a nice close-up here. This is one of the graphic models. Give you guys a nice 360. I really like the detail back here on, on the back side of the helmet. It just looks fantastic. I mean, I don't think the, the pictures or the video are really going to do this helmet justice aesthetically. Let's re finish removing the rest of the liner. To remove the top hat, we have two snaps to the back. Up here at the front, we have essentially a tab that's pushed inside of a channel and it clips right in place. Once again, it's made out of a you know a moisture wicking material, works to keep you dry and comfortable and cool, just like any of the premium helmets today. On a dirt helmet, it's important that you can get the whole liner out because the reality is these things get really dirty and smelly. It gives you the opportunity to wash them easy and then go ahead and reassemble the helmet. Take a look at the inside, and this is going to show you the dual density EPS. And look at all the channeling they put in there for the airflow. The helmet looks like it's going to move a ton of air, which is certainly important for a dirt helmet, no doubt about it. You can see all the channeling on the inside. Here is the intake in the chin bar. It comes with a removable roost deflector right there. It also comes with a couple of additional screws for the visor peak. You know, I think with a dirt helmet, you know, just simply by nature, you know, it's not impossible for one of these to, you know, rattle loose on you, lose it. So Shoei supplied a few additional ones just in case that does happen. Let's go ahead and remove the visor peak and give you a look at that. You can see here, just like with most dirt helmets, you're able to adjust the height of the visor peak up and down to best suit you. Plenty of flexibility built in here, so I think it's going to be, you know, durable, you know, in the event of an impact. I don't think it's just going to blow apart on you. It certainly isn't warranted shatterproof, but it is very, very flexible. The helmet also comes with an anti-glare sticker that you can put here underneath the visor peak. You know, if you're so inclined to do that, it's included. Easy to install. Let's go ahead and put this to the side, and let's give you a look at some of the additional venting on the helmet. Here in the chin bar, another vent there. The back of the helmet, at the top, we have two vents there. There's two more vents on the top of the helmet here. 
and this also uses the neck roll venting as well. It's intended to move certainly a lot of air. I've not ridden in one of these, really don't do a lot of off-road riding at this point. I can tell you the fit of the helmet is absolutely fantastic. In size medium, fits me great, just like the RF-1000, the X-11, the Multitech, the Hornet. I find Showy's sizing is very, very consistent. I have an intermediate oval head, 99% of the helmets on the market fit me fantastic, and I wear medium in, in just about everything out there. So if you're interested in one of these Showy's, for the off-road, pretty much if you know you're a large, order a large, we think you're going to be good to go with the size, and there's really nothing that sticks out about the fit other than the fact that for a dirt helmet, this offers a fantastic fit. It's got great coverage up into the cheeks. It really feels nice and full in there. It's a fantastic product. I think they've done a great job. But, okay, now we'll show you how to put the liner back in it. Really pretty easy to do. Start off with the top pad. Take the leading edge of the top pad, the molded plastic part, and what you need to do is you are going to see there are two arrows. Nick, if you want to zoom in, here and here, okay? And you'll see that there are two oval cutouts right here. You need to line those arrows up with those cutouts and then simply dip that in to the channel. There's a detail here in the back. As it rolls down the edge of the eye port, you need to tuck that in. This is really one of the easier, I think, top pads to put back in. It kind of just really slides it in all by itself. Push that back in like so. Come to the back, we have two snaps. And even though the cheek pads are the emergency release style, it really does not change how they go back in the helmet at all. What you want to do is just go ahead and, and grab these two tabs here. They're going to slide between the EPS and the helmet shell, and you can clearly see where they go in. There are two plastic receptacles, okay? where you just slide this right in, give a little push down, locks right in, same thing in the back, grab your helmet strap, pull it through the slot in the cheek pad like so, make sure your quick release is pushed back, okay, back towards the rear of the helmet. Now we have three snaps, just kind of slide it around until you locate each one. Usually once you get the first one or two started, it goes super easy after that. There's the one up front and the chin, and the one in the back, one on the top. Let's go ahead and repeat that for the other side. Slide that down into the receptacle down there in the channel, clips right in. Let's grab our helmet strap. Once again, make sure that our quick release cheek pad mechanism is pushed all the way back towards the rear of the helmet. Let's find one of our snaps. There's the first one. Second. And third. Visor peak. Super simple there. These are just plastic screws so you, there's no need to go crazy with them, okay? Just kind of thread them in a little bit. Get the center one started. Go to the side. Like I mentioned earlier too, they do include a couple extras, right? Odds are sooner or later you may need them, so keep them in your toolkit as you travel to the racetrack. Or, you know, riding off-road, keep them in some kind of a pouch or something. That way you've got them out there in case you need them. Simply thread those in. They have little thumb screws on them, so they're easy to tighten by hand. You don't need any tools. Snug it up. Snug it up. And there you go. Easy to do. That is the VFXW off-road helmet from Showy.